Well, how about it? Does anybody remember the song Toasted Marmalade for Tea? For some reason, I don't get it. Please, somebody out there, answer this for me. Why is the Odie stations, why do the Odie stations not play Toasted Marmalade for Tea anymore? They never play that record. Why? It was an ambitious record. It had guitars, strings, it built. I'll get into that in just a minute. Well, I want to talk about the follow-up to that record. One of the follow-ups to that record by 1010, Is That the Way to Treat Your Baby? It's on Billboard's Hot 100 of September the 11th, 1971. It jumped 10 from 73 to 63 on Billboard's Hot 100, late summer of 1971. Similar format to Toast and Marmalade for Tea. A catchy record, but not as commercial. Not as commercial as, as Toast and Marmalade for Tea. 1010 from Australia formed in Melbourne, Australia. They're known as the Kinetics, a beat band back in 1966. Eventually it rounded out like this. Steve Kepner, vocalist, Steve Groves. Steve Groves was the one who wrote Toast and Marmalade for Tea. John Phalins, it's V-A-L-L-I-N-S. I'll pronounce it as Phalins. And Jeff Bridgeford, the drummer, and uh, they disbanded in 1973. They moved to England. They moved to the UK in the late 60s, and they met Maurice Gibb. Maurice Gibb helped them get a deal with Polydor Records. It was a one-album deal with Poly Polydor Records, and uh, they changed their name to 1010, to connects to 1010. It was based on a, uh, com what was it? Not a comic strip. It was The Adventures of 1010, a fictional character, a fictional cartoon character, I think. And uh, Maurice Gibb produced their debut album. And he played some of the instruments, including drums and bass guitar, on about half the tracks on this album. Indeed, if you listen to Toast and Marmalade for Tea, boy, does that sound like the Bee Gees or what? Got the similar tight harmonies of the Bee Gees. And this record is similar, too. Is that the way to treat your baby? 10-10. And uh, similar format, you got, now, it had this wavy sound to it, this record, Toast and Marmalade in particular. Indeed, if you listen to the beginning of this record, that's the, uh, uh, that's the way to treat your baby. It's almost as if the 45 was warped, but the, the effect was created, the piano part was created, they manipulated a tape machine, they, manipula they manipulated the... Uh, the tape reel. I don't know if they speed it up or if they just kind of wobbled it a little bit. They might have wobbled it a little bit to give it that that psychedelic sound. It's all about that psychedelic. A late psychedelic record indeed. And then Toast and Marmalade for Tea just built up. You got the acoustic guitars, the bass guitars filling in, and then you got the, uh, the drums, the strings, and the brass instruments. You talk about ambition in that record. And this record, too, their follow-up, one of their follow-ups, That's the Way to Treat Your Baby, had a little bit of that in there, too, that same ambition. But 10-10. Uh, Let's go to the Billboard's Hot 100, September the 11th, 1971. Let me make sure I got everything covered that I want to talk about. Kipner, Steve Kipner. I mentioned this before several times. I'm not going to get into it much now, but Steve Kipner became a major, massive songwriter. Lead singer of 1010, he co-wrote. Steve Kipner co-wrote. Kipner co-wrote Physical by Olivia, Olivia Newton-John, co-wrote Hard Habit to Break by Chicago, all classic 80s hits, both of them classic 80s hits, and uh, co-wrote Twist of Fate, also by Olivia Newton-John, that came out in 1983. But I just found this out, I didn't know this, John Phelan's of the group 1010 later teamed up with Nat Kipner, Steve Kipner's dad, and those two guys wrote Too Much, Too Little, Too Late which was done by uh, Johnny Mathis and Denise Williams back in 1978. I just found that out. Boy, just learned these little neat things. Well, let's go to Billboard's Hot 100 right now, September the 11th, 1971. Is that the way at number 63? It peaked at number 59. Lost indeed. Fell right through the cracks. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for six weeks. It is 1010. Originally from Australia, Relocated to England, is that the way 